And a pleasant good evening. Welcome into the UNG Soccer Complex. As you see, the Operation Nighthawks of Honor ceremony just concluding, and we are about set to get things started in our second game of the night between the Nighthawks of UNG and the Canes of Georgia Southwestern. Walker McCrary here in the press box prior to the start of this one as North Georgia comes into it at 6-6-0, six, 3-2. Six and oh, three and two. Georgia Southwestern 4-7-1. 0-3 in conference play. North Georgia leads this series 12-1, and the goalkeepers in this one will be Josh Swift and Matt Sharman. We'll take a break and be back for the national anthem performed by the UNG Patriot Choir right after this on the Nighthawk Sports Network. I am a brother. I am a freshman. I am an artist. I am an entrepreneur. I am a civilian. I am a junior. I am an ambassador. I am a music teacher. I am a commuter. I am an actor. I am an intern. I am a researcher. I am a senior. I am an athlete. I am a veteran. I am a sister. I am a sophomore. I am a singer. I am an educator. I am a scientist. I am a resident. I am a writer. I am a leader. I am a cadet. I am a volunteer. I am a musician. I am a tutor. We are UNG. From court to court and lane to lane under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub with exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports. Shop, play, and stay in Dahlonega, the heart of the North Georgia mountains. Back with you here in Dahlonega as the colors are getting ready to march on the field. We mentioned that it was Operation Nighthawks of Honor Night here in Dahlonega and a record-breaking crowd here in Dahlonega. The Patriot Choir will sing the national anthem for us and the colors being marched onto the field by members of the Boris Head Brigade. Also, today's colors will be presented by the UNG Boris Head you Brigade color guard. See the team split the for the Goodwin. As a reminder, colors to march on the field and we'll allow you to listen in to the ceremony and hear the UNG Patriot Choir sing their national anthem. Has exited the playing field. Say, does that song? 
And back here in the broadcast booth, another great performance by the UNG Patriot Choir. As we take a look at the starting lineups for both teams, first for Georgia Southwestern, they are under the head coach of Warren, Warren Russ in his 11th season at the helm for the Hurricanes. Like I mentioned number one, Joshua Swift will be in goal, the 6'1 senior from Lilburn. The other starting 10, number three, Mohamed Balde. 6'2", junior from Lawrenceville. Number seven, Jonathan Sayers. 6'1", junior from Decula. Number 10, Tiago Elia Elias. The 5'7", junior from Sao Paulo. Number 11, Silvio Pauli, the 5'10", senior from Rio de Janeiro. Number 14, Julian Rugel, 6'0", junior from Tucker. Number 15, Chris Steinwax. 6'1", senior from Columbus. Number 18, Daniel Minson, the 5'8", senior from Oconee. Number 20, Chris Avery, the 5'10", junior from Tyrone. Number 21, Trevor Dempsey, the 5'8", senior for Columbus, from Columbus. And number 22, Lucas Kimmel, the 5'11", senior from Cairo. Now for the Nighthawks under head coach Pat Paris in his 11th season. In goal is number one, Matt Sharman, the 6'0", junior from Sandwich, England. Number 6, Jordan Day, 6'0", junior from Beverly, England. Number 8, Daniel Bennett. The 6'2 senior from Sutton Coldfield, England. Number nine, Alex Grant, the 5'9 junior from Wolverhampton, England. Number 10, Gabe Garcia, 5'7 junior from Benito, Brazil. Number 13, Carl Ludwig Eriksson, the junior from Uppsala, Sweden. He will participate in our senior day festivities tonight as Georgia Southwestern gets things going here in Dahlonega. Number 14, Adam Farrell is the 5'7 junior from Dublin. Number 15, Evan Davis, six foot sophomore from Griffin. Number 16, Mateus Abreu, the 5'7 freshman from Sao Paulo. Number 22, Ivan Achimovic, the 5'8 senior from Belgrade, Serbia. And number 23, Daniel Joyce, the 5'8 senior from Essex, England, as North Georgia already earning a free kick. Daniel Bennett will go over to take it as we have a absolutely packed crowd here at the UNG Soccer Complex. Grant trying to Send it across to, that looked like Yvonne. But he was unsuccessful, and it's sent all the way back to Dan Bennett. Bennett upfield, headed by Rugel, right to the goalkeeper, Josh Swift. At the women's game, they broke the attendance record. We'll see after the first half, what the attendance is for the men's game. I imagine that it's going to shatter a record as well as Chris Avery went slamming into the fence here at the sideline. It is a little chilly, so every little bit of contact is going to hurt that much more. He seems to be okay. David J, our lead official, Make sure that Chris Avery is fit to continue. And Alex Grant will send it to the goalkeeper in Josh Swift to show great sportsmanship. Swift will boot it away. It's headed out by Jordan Day via North Georgia throw. As the temperatures have dropped significantly here in Dahlonega from when we started. North Georgia earning a throw. Here's Grant. Grant sending it over the top, trying to find Mateus Abreu. Abreu trying to outrun Balde. And Balde will see it out. Gabe Garcia trying to earn possession. Here's Yvonne. Achimovic gets to Farrell, out wide to Joyce. Joyce inside the 18, and I believe a corner kick. Nope, it will be a goal kick. (laughs) 
Booted away. Ludwig Erickson tried to move it upfield. Ball bounced around. And still nobody able to settle it. North Georgia will earn a throw. Seven players will be honored after tonight's match is over as part of the Senior Day festivities. Joyce trying to re-earn possession from Chris Avery. Here come the Canes. Canes have scored 16 goals this year. North Georgia scored 20. And that will go on top of the net for a Nighthawk goal kick. Zach Tibbs, Daniel Bennett. Rami Bakey, Carl Ludwig Erickson, Ivan Achimovich, Daniel Joyce, and Michael Akin. The seven players to be honored tonight. Mr. and Mrs. UNG will be named at halftime of this game. As Farrell sends it out wide, Joyce able to settle it easily. Crossing it in, almost found Achimovic. Here come the Nighthawks. A brew has it on the far side. Now Farrell. Trying to find some open area and ends up getting it to Ludwig Erickson. Great back heel touch by Gabe Garcia. Erickson out wide. Here's a brew. A bruise inside the 18. Good slide tackle from Balde. Balde sends it back toward, or actually that was a brew getting past Balde and now Swift boots it all the way down the field. Jordan Day heads it toward the sidelines. Bennett able to keep it in play, trying to find Garcia on the other side. Trying to beat the Nighthawks to the ball. Silvio Pauly, he has it down in the corner. Gives it to Chris Avery. And then in open area, missing the ball was one of the Canes. Southwestern still with possession. Settled by Dempsey. Great ball out wide. Trying to cross it in and does toward the back post, but it's headed out by North Georgia. Still kept in by Avery. Back to Minson. Minson tried to send it in. And it was turned away. Garcia out wide to Grant. Farrell over the top. Gets it to Joyce. Joyce to Ludwig Erickson. Back to Daniel Joyce. Is he going to be able to keep it in play? He does. No, he doesn't. Flag went up late, saying it was out of play. Georgia Southwestern, a team of Mainly Georgians. One player from El Paso, a couple from Brazil. One from Seoul, South Korea. One from Mexico and a couple from Florida.
North Georgia on the attack. Ball comes through to Achimovic. Achimovic couldn't get much of a touch on it, and Swift takes the safe route and dives right on it. Ludwig Erickson takes it away, trying to get it to a brew, and the ball will go out to Georgia Southwestern. David J telling Evan Davis to back up a touch, or actually replace the ball. Evan throws it in and then it's booted high and deep back to the North Georgia defensive line. Bennett sending it up toward Grant. Grant got in behind but it was headed away by the Canes. Charmin comes away with that one. First shot of the game taken by Southwestern. First save of the game for Matt Charmin. Evan Davis keeps the ball in play, bounces toward the 18 as Alex Grant deflects the ball out of play as the Nighthawks gave pressure up top. And a foul called on Balde as a brew went down. Be a free kick to North Georgia, Bennett. Actually, that'll be Jordan Day going up to take it on the far sideline. Day sends it in with the left foot. Back post, Daniel Bennett with the goal. The senior on the back post. Bennett's first goal of the season. The assist to Jordan Day, his second of the year. Nighthawks lead at 1 nothing. North Georgia goal by number eight, Daniel Bennett. That's his first goal of the season. Assist comes in to number six, Jason Day. The new score here at the UNC Soccer Complex is Georgia Southwestern Zero North. Goal kick earned for North Georgia, and that gives us an opportunity to look at the Bennett goal, his first of the season. Jordan Day crosses it in. Back post, Dan Bennett. Standing there, easily able to get his head. Up. 
one nothing North Georgia. And a foul called on the Nighthawks. It'll be a Southwestern free kick. And they tried to take it quickly. David J says bring it back to the foul. It'll be Daniel Minson getting set to take it. He prepped at North Oconee near the UNG Oconee campus. Sent in. Ball still near the six, headed toward the far post, and Matt Sharman goes over to quell the threat. As the wave goes on below us here at the UNG Soccer Complex. Here's Farrell. Farrell sends it out wide to Abreu. Abreu on the attack, trying to get toward the end line, and a goal kick will be earned. Abreu pleading with the far side official, but not going to get the call. Almost 15 minutes gone in this one. North Georgia with a one goal advantage. 21st goal of the year for North Georgia as a team. 21st goal allowed by Joshua Swift this season. Sent down to Ivan Achimovic. Out of play. Tiago Ellis, or Elias rather. Taking off the ball, a brew. Sends it back to Evan Davis, who resets for the Nighthawks. Bennett all the way across to Jordan Day, who has not a cane within 20 yards. Now on the far side, Georgia Southwestern trying to cross it in there was Elias, but Bennett deflects it out of play. North Georgia, one shot, one goal. Now the counter starts. Gabe Garcia with a great ball to Achimovic. But Achimovic topped it a little bit, and now here come the Canes and Kimmel. Kimmel out wide to Polly. Polly going to try and cross it in. Diving header goes out off of North Georgia's Bennett, and it'll be a corner for the Nighthawk, or for the Canes, rather. Short corner taken. Now sending it in. Bicycle kick tried. Ball still bouncing inside the six. A goal kick comes of it. Jordan Day. Sends it upfield, and the flag goes up on Gabe Garcia. Just a step. Quickly taken by Lucas Kimmel. Now here's Sayers on the far side. He 
can't keep it in play. North Georgia gets a throw, quickly taken, trying to get it down the sideline to a brew, and this time a brew can't keep it in play. Up the far side, Silvio Pauly forces the Nighthawks to clear it out of play. Now Pauly near the top of the 18, gets it to Steinwax. Evan Davis will throw it in. Here's Grant. And a clean tackle by Balde. Taken by Polly. Sends it up to Chris Avery. Avery dribbles into the 18. Bennett tries to settle it and does. And sends the Canes away for the time being. Silvio Pauli with six goals for the Canes. He leads the way. Steinwax with two. Elias with one on the field right now. Dylan Marshall off the bench with four. Divin Moak, the freshman with three. He will likely make an appearance tonight. Ball goes all the way back to Sharman, and he'll roll it back in play to Jordan Day. Day with the left foot, sends it over the head of Achimovic. Garcia gives it to Achimovic, now has it. He'll switch the field of play to a brew. Abreu going to take it toward the end line, try and cross it in, ball passed, and Garcia can't finish it, but Ludwig Eriksson able to put it in the net, and he'll celebrate with the fans right in front of us. Ludwig Eriksson with his fifth goal of the year, the junior, puts the Nighthawks up two to nothing. And you hear the fans getting rowdy below us. Georgia Southwestern waiting to put the ball back in play. Grant sends it out wide to a brew. A brew will send it back to Sharman. And Sharman out wide to Jordan Day who started the attack with a ball just like that. Grant's going to give chase to it. Runs past it. Ludwig Erickson tries to send it in, but it's turned away by Southwestern. And a foul called on Georgia Southwestern, a free kick given to North Georgia. And Day takes it quickly. Bennett will go all the way back to Sharman. Almost midway through this first half of play, North Georgia with two goals. Southwestern unable to score thus far. Here's Erickson. Trying to go sidelines, it goes out of play, and that gives us an opportunity to take a look at his goal. His fifth of the year, Garcia receives the cross off the deflection Goes off of the keeper, Swift, and Erickson able to find 
his fifth goal of the year and then celebrate a little bit with the fans right in front of him. Georgia Southwestern makes a substitution. It looked like Minson went off. Wait to see who came on. Here's a brew. His shot over the crossbar and this place would have erupted. Nick Botka, 5'10", senior from Fayetteville. Stepped on for Southwestern. Here's Avery. Avery with a nice move to avoid pressure. North Georgia defense standing strong at the top of the 18, not allowing Polly to get through. Here's a counterattack. Garcia gets it out wide to Joyce. Joyce brings it up the near side, finds Achimovic. And then back to Jordan Day. Day over the top trying to find Grant. Off Grant's head. And a goal kick going to be called. David Jay gives a little warning to one of the players as Grant was somewhat pulled down. It was almost a whistle offense, not quite. Here's Adam Farrell. As North Georgia works. Some possession near midfield, trying to get it to Gabe Garcia, and the Canes will counter. Running past the ball there with Sayers. That allowed North Georgia to earn possession. Over the top, Achimovic to Joyce. Joyce inside the 18, trying to get it across the frame. Forced Swift to come off his line, and a corner kick earned. Corner across the frame toward the back post. It comes out wide. Bennett tried to settle it. But the Canes able to clear and move the ball to midfield before Bennett steps in and gets it to Jordan Day. Over the top, Achimovic unable to get possession, but it comes to Joyce. Garcia looking for options. He'll go back to De Davis. Davis across the field to Joyce. And then Jordan Day. High in the air. Headed by Joyce at first. It comes down and sent downfield by Dempsey. But Bennett there to settle it for North Georgia. Achimovic, two canes on him, he'll send it across the 18, comes out to Farrell, Farrell found Garcia, and as Garcia got ready to flick it back and make a run, the canes swarm to earn possession, and the ball will bounce out of play, Joyce will take the throw. Erickson trying to chip it in toward Garcia. 
Pauley leads the break. But great defense by Bennett and sliding in is Sharman. Charman rolls it out to Bennett. Bennett will kick a line drive downfield. And Charman yells for the ball to allow for the Nighthawks to organize. Here's Polly. Polly tries to cross it in, goes off of Jordan Day and a corner is earned as you see Achimovic headed into the box to play defense. Caleb Zolman, 5'11 sophomore from Thomaston, checks in. Corner going to be taken by Elias. And Sharman easily able to come off his line and make the catch. Erickson sends... Back to Bennett as the Nighthawks slowly work it up the field with the back four. Here's Grant with a lot of space. He'll fire one from deep, but it goes well over the netting behind the goal. Goal kick comes out to midfield. North Georgia starting to put some passes together. But the Canes step in. Zolman trying to get it upfield to Polly. Can Polly keep it in play? Yes, he can. Cross in, header over the crossbar, and it'll be a goal kick. That allows for North Georgia to make a substitution. Michael Akin checks in, the senior from London. Starting out for North Georgia, number 25, Michael Akin. Over the top, Akin makes a run, finds Garcia. Garcia. Over and saved was a great save by Swift as Alex Grant took a shot that was bending away from him. It's a corner kick earned as Jordan Day will go up this time for North Georgia. Joyce Farrell and Bennett stay back to prevent Polly from countering. Cross sent back post. Comes down to Day. Day taken down in the box, no whistle. Farrell, top of the 18, going toward the right post on the ground. It's cleared out. Day still somewhat shaken up. He's trying to jog it off. Looks to be okay. He gets back on side, and David J puts the ball back in play. Erickson earns a throw.
Atkin switches the field of play to Evan Davis. Davis making a run. Grant sends it out wide to Joyce. Joyce trying to get it to Erickson, a little heavy touch. And Bennett will step in to keep Pauly from countering. Here's Balde. Elias gives it out to Zolman, trying to send it to Pauly down the left sideline, and North Georgia will just watch it roll across the end line. Two subs going to step on for GSW. It'll be Divin Moak. Freshman from Norcross and Dylan Marshall, the 6'1 sophomore from Thomaston. Joyce trying to send it in. Atkin comes away with it after it's headed away. Splits the defense. Gives to Evan Davis out wide. Davis sends down to Garcia, starts to run in. Garcia trying to get through two Hurricane defenders. And we'll see it to Adam Farrell. Farrell trying to chip it over the top. Joyce unable to get possession, but Akin going to try and keep it in. Davis to Farrell, and then back to Day to organize. Bennett beats a defender, crosses it in, headed toward Ludwig Eriksson by one of the Kane defenders. It cleared out to Farrell, and then the ball comes down to Georgia Southwestern, but Akin steps in, the speed that the senior from London shows there, the transfer from Lake Tahoe Community College. Now Michael Akin wide open, the flag went up. Swift earned the save if it, the flag would not have gone up. But Akin acknowledged he might have been offside. Gave a thumbs up to the assistant referee. High in the air, Grant trying to earn position. Kimmel got his head on it first. That'll come all the way back to Swift off the head, so he's able to pick it up and punt it away. Nidoc throw with nine minutes to play here in the first half. Mr. and Miss US, UNG to be named at halftime. We'll also look at the first half stats and highlights. Chris Avery dispossesses Akin, but North Georgia able to earn it back with Jordan Day. Erickson to Grant and then to Akin. Akin tries to get a ball through to Garcia, and if it hadn't been for the foot of that looked like ball day, could have been three to nothing. And ball day trying to get his defense going. Georgia Southwestern
defensively given up 27 goals this season after the two are added tonight. And the counterattack started. Erickson trying to get it through to Atkin. Easily goes back to Swift. And a foul called. North Georgia will get a free kick. Operation Nighthawks of Honor Night here in Dahlonega. Third annual Operation Nighthawks of Honor ceremony. Honoring this year soldiers either that were in or associated with World War I. As Farrell's going to take a shot, it'll go just over the crossbar. All 13 teams honoring a soldier that all have a tie with North Georgia as well. Rami Bakey checks in. Senior from Kilcool, Ireland. Out for North Georgia, number 11, USW trying to put something together here to end the first half. They've got to throw in deep, and the ball comes into the 18, trying to earn a corner, and they do. After tonight, the Nighthawks will get a week off before participating in their final Peach Belt match of the year at Clayton State next Wednesday. That's a 7.30 kickoff, and then they'll return home on the 28th of October to finish off the regular season with a 2 p.m. matchup against North Greenville. Sharman jumps up to keep the ball out of the net. As the Nighthawks winding down time in the first half. Leading it two to nothing. Bakey will get a throw right at midfield. He'll leave it for Daniel Joyce. Joyce heads it, or rather Akin heads it over the top. Here's Bakey. Bakey with a good touch to Erickson. Erickson across the net. Achimovic couldn't get a foot on it. Garcia is going to send it in this time. It's headed toward the back post by a Kane. And it'll go out of play for a Southwestern throw. Touched last by Joyce, I assume. Joyce finds Akin, who sends it over to Farrell. North Georgia on the attack. Achimovic giving chase. We'll go out of play. North Georgia will get the throw. Yvonne leaves it behind for Evan Davis, who quickly gives it back to Achimovic in play.
Jordan Day over the top. And a goal kick earned. Joshua Swift taking his time getting the ball set in the perfect location to boot it away. Michael Atkin steps in and trying to send it down the sideline to Rami. Atkin will go back to Bennett as Georgia Southwestern doing their best to keep the ball away from the sidelines. As that's where North Georgia has really started putting together attacks late here in this first half. Farrell tries to get it to Bakey and Kane step in to send it away. Joyce settles it. And it goes all the way back to Sharman. 40 seconds to play here in this first half. North Georgia might get one more opportunity to attack here. As the ball's out of play, North Georgia will get a throw. And Avery did not like the call for the Canes. Throws the ball up in the air to waste a little more time. Goes back to Dan Bennett. Bennett will send it in for one last opportunity. Bakey gives chase, but it's booted right into the hands of Josh Swift, and that'll be the end of the first half. Nighthawks lead it 2 to nothing here in Dahlonega. We'll take a commercial break. When we get back, we'll look down the first half stats. Nighthawks 2, Canes nothing on the Nighthawks Sports Network. We're not just a video production company. We're storytellers, and we're on a mission to connect people, inspire change, and capture life's most precious moments. Because it's not only about capturing where you are today, it's about capturing where you're going. So when it's time to create a video, choose Bentley Media. And let us tell your story the way it was meant to be told. Bentley Media, we only film everything. Champions know how to seize opportunities. When they see moments of greatness unfold right before their eyes, they push as hard as they possibly can, and then they push harder. Because the heart of a champion never settles, never quits, and never stops giving its all. We are champions. We are Division II. We go big, we give it everything we've got, and we win on the field, on our campuses, in our communities, for our causes, in our careers. We rise to become champions in everything we do. We are Division II and there are no limits here. We make our time count. We set our own path. We become champions on our terms. It's time to up your game because we're here to play and learn. But most importantly, we're here to discover ourselves, our vision, our heart, our drive to achieve every goal we aim for because we want to be champions at the highest level, life. At Division II, the opportunities are here. Are you ready? NCAA TV and marketing rights fees. Where does the money go? Long answer, 96% of the revenue is used to fund 88 championships and support 1,055 member colleges and universities who together provide $2 billion annually in financial aid to more than 400,000 student athletes so they can compete and learn. Short answer, we put our money where our mission is. 
back with you here in Dahlonega, two to nothing at the break between North Georgia and Georgia Southwestern. North Georgia leading it. They lead eight to four on the shots over the Canes. Georgia Southwestern's earned one more corner kick than North Georgia, three to two in that department. Matt Sharman with three saves, Josh Swift with one, but the only stat that matters, Nighthawks two, Canes nothing. So we take a look at Georgia Southwestern's first half statistics. Tiago Elias with a shot on goal. Daniel Minsden, Min, Minson, excuse me, with one shot on goal. Chris Avery, Avery with two shots, one of them on goal. That makes four shots, three on goal. Nighthawks with a goal from Dan Bennett in his only shot. A goal for Carl Ludwig Erickson in his only shot. Jordan Day and Gabe Garcia earn assists. Alex Grant with two shots. Gabe Garcia with a shot as well. Farrell, Abreu, and Achimovic all earning shots in the first half. Eight shots, three of them on goal to find the net. It was a 12th minute goal for Daniel Bennett off a free kick from Jordan Day. A 21st minute goal for Carl Ludwig Erickson, his fifth of the year off an assist from Gabe Garcia that ricocheted off of the goalkeeper Swift. Two offsides for North Georgia, zero for the Canes in the first half of play. And we will be getting an attendance number momentarily as I, ex I would guess that it is another record-breaking attendance here in Dahlonega as the Mr. and Mrs. UNG Ceremony going on right now here in Dahlonega. President Jacobs standing at midfield, getting ready to hand over the award to the winner who's selected by the student body here on the Dahlonega campus at the University of North Georgia. We'll take a break here in Dahlonega, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the two goals from the first half. Bennett and Erickson. Find the net for North Georgia. They lead it two to nothing over Georgia Southwestern in Peach Belt Conference action here on the Nighthawk Sports Network. Leadership is socially responsible, collaborative, and inclusive. It's a process, not a position. The University of North Georgia is a state leadership institution. Here, the leadership certificate program is open to all students who want to enhance their leadership knowledge, gain practical skills, and become a more effective leader. A more effective leader. You can get credit for your involvement in student organizations, campus events, community service, study abroad, and many other campus activities. Start learning how to understand your personal leadership philosophy. Be part of a team. Improve your communication. Create an inclusive environment. And make a difference in your community. Make a commitment to yourself. And become part. And become part of the Leadership Certificate Program. Because at the University of North Georgia, you can lead. You can lead. You can lead. You can lead. You can lead, you can lead where it counts. Under the lights or under the sun, no one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub with exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours, the home of Division II college sports. I am a brother. I am a freshman. I am an artist. I am an entrepreneur. I am a civilian. I am a junior. I am an ambassador. I am a music teacher. I am a commuter. I am an actor. I am an intern. I am a researcher. I am a senior. I am an athlete. I am a veteran. I am a sister. I am a sophomore. I am a singer. I am an educator. I am a scientist. I am a resident. I am a writer. I am a leader. I am a cadet. I am a volunteer. I am a musician. I am a tutor. We are UNG. Two nothing in favor of the Nighthawks here at the break at the UNG Soccer Complex. Attendance numbers are in and yet another attendance record shattered 
tonight as 909 Nighthawk fans here in attendance, shattering the previous record of 804 set over three years ago in 2014 in a match against Lenora Ryan. Now the new record, 909 here, and they are all strong and loud for the Nighthawks against the Canes on Spirit Night, Senior Night, and Operation Nighthawks of Honor Night. Let's take a look at the two goals. It was a 12th minute goal by Dan Bennett. Free kick from Jordan Day goes all the way to the back post. Bennett with a header puts the Nighthawks up one to nothing. 21st minute, Carl Ludwig Erickson comes off of this deflection from Garcia, and then Erickson made sure there was no doubt, shot it so hard into the net that it bounced all the way back out to the penalty area for North Georgia. That's a 2-0 lead for the Nighthawks in Dahlonega. Earlier this month, the UNG Athletic Department unveiled its annual report showing that North Georgia not only wins games on the field and wins champions on championships on the field, but they also create champions in real life. Everything I do, I want to succeed at and I want to be the best at. And North Georgia just set me up for that in every way. Everywhere you go, if you have that link to North Georgia, then people know that you're a champion. The entire athletics department is so focused on the most important things, especially with academics. And we have such a developed program for athletics, you're not going to find that at many other schools. The moment that you realize that you succeeded is really special. And it was, it was good to be there with uh, the team and just to know that we had come together and performed and posted that good score that got us the win. My dad, before I came into um, college, was like, you know, you're not going to remember every game, you're not going to remember every practice, you're not going to remember the mistakes you made in your sport, but you are going to remember the impact that the school had on you and how they built you as a leader and as an athlete as a whole. When I was younger, I always wanted to do, or later on, do something with disabled kids. And with Make-A-Wish, that like, to see that, my wish got bigger doing that. And that was, I called my dad after that. I was like, hey dad, I think, I, I think I'm going the right direction. He was like, what do you mean? I was like, you know, I always wanted to do it and I think, I think, I think that's it. It's not only, you know, you're just about your sport because there's going to be a lot to deal with with your sport. But there's also going to be a lot outside of that that you are going to want to bring to the table when it comes down to, to seeing what's your future and what you're going to be making an impact on this campus for. We're not trying to recreate like an A-Rod or we're not trying to, we want you for you. That's why we brought you here. We're going to take your talents and we're going to make you be the best person and the best player that you can be. I love the Nighthawks now. Um, I love being a part of the Nighthawk family and it's just something that I take a lot of pride in. It's a professional program that fosters talent of young people and not also on the court but also off the court to grow as a person. I've always been taught that that's been the most important thing is to get through school so that you can do what you want to pursue. Division II makes it the biggest priority and they don't focus solely on sports. They could be dancing in Dahlonega pretty soon. They have the National Player of the Year, the National Pitcher of the Year in the circle. Has not allowed a run today. And a five run cushion needing three outs for the school's first ever national championship in any sport. The junior pool in the circle, one pitch away potentially here from being a national champion. Left side. The glove of McMillan, a national championship to North Georgia. For the first time in school history, the Nighthawks are the number one softball program in NCAA Division II.
time in school history. The Nighthawks are the number one softball program in NCAA Division II. You've got to fully invest, give your whole effort to the university, to the people around you, to the program itself, and then you can't help but be a champion. And again, our thanks to Bentley Media Group and Max Bentley for helping us with that project. A job well done all around by the UNG Athletic Department and Bentley Media. Take our final commercial break. When we come back, second half action here in Dahlonega. Nighthawks lead it 2 to nothing on the Nighthawk Sports Network. I want everyone to rally behind such a great cause for Make-A-Wish. It's not just for us, and it's not just for the school. It's for the kids that we'll be helping. It's for them. And it's not just raising money for a charity. It's raising money to make this kid's dream come true. I never still to this day would have thought that it would have touched me the way that it did that day. To truly say that it was a life-changing moment for myself uh, is true. And I think it was for our program, our team, and our university. It was truly one of the most memorable experiences of my coaching career. You really just see the community come together to make this event special uh, and make it unique. And I think that's one thing that we like to try to brand ourselves with here at UNG is we're unique. Uh, and we like to do the special small things that make you know, children's lives and dreams come true. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Second half about to get underway here in Dahlonega. You see just seconds remaining at halftime, Southwestern in their huddles, North Georgia getting ready to take the first kick of the second half. It looks like Rami Bakey will be the one with the first touch. It's Bakey, Garcia, Akin, Achimovic, Ludwig Erickson, Farrell, Davis, Bennett, Day, and Joyce. As Alex Grant will get a breather to start this second half of play. Silvio Pauly leads the Canes back out onto the field. Jonathan Sayers as well as Chris Avery. And there's the whistle from David J. We're back underway here in the second half. Trying to find Akin. Akin keeps it in play. Top of the box. Trying to get it over to Achimovic. And Dan Joy stops the counter. Akin trying to thread it through. It's cleared out. Evan Davis and Daniel Bennett converge on it. And Bennett will send it back to Matt Sharman. Sharman with the first minute of play nearly gone here in this second half as a whistle and a penalty will be earned. Charmin has now surpassed 1,000 minutes in between the posts on the year. Penalty kick coming. See who ends up taking it. Looks like it's going to be, I believe that's Farrell. Swift in between. The post, Farrell approaches, sends it into the net. Swift chose right, and Farrell went left. 3 nothing North Georgia in the 46th minute of play.
And ball whistled back into play. North Georgia leading it three to nothing now. North Georgia goal by number 14, Adam Farrell. It is his second goal of the season. That's Farrell's second goal of the year. And it's his second penalty kick goal of the year as well. He's now two for two on the season in PKs. And that'll give us an opportunity with a throw in to take a look at the Farrell penalty kick. You see he goes just right of the keeper, Swift, making sure that it's in the middle of the net from where he started. Swift chose to dive toward the right post. Didn't really have a chance at it at that point. Quickly thrown in by Georgia Southwestern, and the goal kick will be earned as the throw-in rolls harmlessly across the end line. Charmin gives to Jordan Day, who sends it down toward Achimovic. Georgia Southwestern starting to throw numbers forward. Sharman comes off of his line and able to take the ball away from Silvio Pauli, who is trying to make a run at goal. A number of college transfers for Coach Warren Russ and the Canes, J.P. Merlett, not seeing the field today, a transfer from the University of Charleston. Ball Day transfer from Belmont Abbey. Stephen Stottlemyer, again, not having seen the field yet, transfer from Coastal Georgia. And then Tiago Elias, transfer from Kansas City Community College. Corner kick taken. Ball sent in by Farrell. Bounces just outside the six, and another corner kick will be taken by the Nighthawks, this time on the far side of the field. Corner taken toward the back post. Swift. Got a hand on it, and North Georgia wanted a handball as Dan Bennett fired one that was blocked. No whistle by David J. And whistle to make sure everyone's okay. It was a very hard shot taken by the senior Bennett. Bennett steps in, a hard tackle clean though as Divin Moak gets up after taking a bit of a tumble. Try and make a run to the far sideline. All the way out to midfield. Nighthawks on the move. And Swift comes outside of the 18 to send it back toward Jonathan Sayers. 
Evan Davis comes out of the scrum with the ball. Bakey out wide. Flag stays down. Ball sent across the frame, but not going to be able to kept in play. Achimovic out wide. Ball sent in. A lot of white jerseys on the back post. Ball still loose inside the 18. But Georgia Southwestern able to clear it out of play. Polly trying to hold and wait for more Navy uniforms to come upfield. And he'll earn a throw. Dan Bennett stepping in. Sharman was coming to try and get it, but I think Bennett thought that the Canes had a chance to get a foot on it. Now here's Gabe Garcia. Gabe gives it out wide to Achimovic. Achimovic's shot is saved. Back post, trying to get it across the frame and does. North Georgia still on the attack. Farrell from 25 yards out, it's in the net. Swift couldn't get there, diving to his left. It hit off his fingertips, but went in. It's a goal for nothing, North Georgia. Farrell with his second goal of the half. And the ball cleared out of play. Had the penalty kick goal and then fired that one from 25 yards out. And the Nighthawks exploding with their fourth goal of the season or fourth goal of the match. Kane's trying to answer. Top of the 18. Here's Avery taking it out wide right. Stein walks. Erickson commits the foul, and a free kick will be taken quickly by Stein walks. Here come the Canes. Shot taken, and it'll go wide. A corner kick will be had. That gives us an opportunity to look at Farrell's rocket of a goal. Ball trickles out to him. And that's a goal by North Georgia. Bakey will get the assist. Corner kick taken. Ball bouncing, and Georgia Southwestern is answered. Goal by Silvio Pauly. Pauly's seventh goal of the year.
Assist will be credited to Tiago Elias. Shot blocked. North Georgia still attacking, and North Georgia answers again. Five to one, North Georgia. Gabe Garcia with the goal. Georgia Southwestern going to try and answer here. Shot and the goal by Jonathan Sayers. Jonathan Sayers answers with his first goal of the season. And Gustavo Alendar. And it's five to two. Canes putting together Another attack here. Here's Elias. Headed in the air, and Sharman's going to punch it out. And Achimovic will try and get it out of play, or upfield, rather. And now here's Farrell. Out wide to Michael Akin. Akin with space. He'll wait on white jerseys. And could not get past the defender in Balde, but then gets it back. Akin, up top, Farrell, wide left, and that gives us an opportunity to get you caught up on these three goals. Corner kick comes in, Pauly settles it and puts it in the back of the net for Georgia Southwestern's goal. 30 seconds later, there's a goal by Gabe Garcia, and then not even 15 seconds later, a shot almost saved by Sharma Sayers, able to score it. That ball punched out of play, out of the way by Joshua Swift. And Farrell just going to try and rocket one in. It'll be a corner kick for the Nighthawks. Corner kick sent in over the head of everybody. And another corner kick earned. Alensar will go over to take it. Comes out to Farrell. Farrell shot goes wide right. Bent just outside the post as he was inches away from a hat trick. Headed along by Steinwalks and Daniel Joyce will have all the time in the world to clear it out for North Georgia. Here's Alensar finding Farrell. Farrell out wide to Akin, the senior from London, 
waiting on reinforcements, crosses it over. Ball batted away by Swift. And the Canes avoid danger once again. Five goals matches a season high for North Georgia. As the Canes go, try and put together an attack, a goal kick earned for North Georgia. Nine hundred and nine Nighthawk faithful here in attendance, shattering the previous record. Throw in by the Canes, quickly taken. Elias trying to send it upfield. Alinsar steps in. Polly now comes away with it. Polly out wide to Moak. And a throw in as close to the flag as you can get. Farrell trying to become just the second North Georgia player to have a hat trick in a game in program history. Last one was Eddie Hurst. North Georgia waiting to make a sub. Joyce pulled down, but they're going to call Joyce for the foul. Free kick going to be taken from about 30 yards out. There it comes. Sharman easily going to be able to catch that one. Sharman rolls it out to Evan Davis. And the ball comes into the stands. And Alex Grant will get to step on. Akin unable to keep the ball. Here's Moak and foul called on the Canes. Over the top, Jordan Day 
Tries to get it to Evan Davis. Shot taken by Moak right at Sharman. Sharman with time. He will organize his teammates and send it, trying to get to Ivan Achimovic. It'll be a Nighthawk throw right in front of Coach Pat Paris. And a foul called. Bennett coming up to take the free kick. Jordan Day starting a run. That ball right to Swift. And Swift will boot it away, trying to catch the Nighthawks forward. But Day able to earn possession. It'll be a cane throw. Here's Avery. He gives back to Steinwalks and tries to send it into Polly, but it's cleared out by North Georgia. Alinsar tried to steal the pass from Balde. Now Balde inside the 18. He'll keep it in play at the touchline. And Alinsar clears it out of bounds. And now a corner kick has been earned. North Georgia won the last meeting between these two teams almost a year ago to the date, 1 0. A few more goals have been scored tonight. Corner kick, cleared out by North Georgia. Sent back in by Trevor Dempsey. And Sharman will start the counter quickly. Here's Akin. He finds Farrell. Farrell sends out wide to Achimovic. Here's Alex Grant. Settles at the top of the 18, trying to get a shot off. Farrell comes on quickly, but it's cleared out by... Georgia Southwestern. They've got numbers going back. Running quickly on the far side, Chris Avery. He'll cross it over the goal, and it will hit off the crossbar, and it's cleared out by Evan Davis. Hit off the top of the crossbar. Dan Bennett clears it out, and Alinsar Gives way to Achimovic. All the way back to Matt Sharman. Achimovic gets it out wide. And now Yvonne earns a penalty. Or rather, it might be a foul. He's standing outside the 18, is our head official, David J. He pointed toward the goal. It's hard to tell immediately if what he was inside the 18 or not, but he's just a step out. Now, who will take this free kick? Grant, Farrell, 
Garcia and Bennett all standing close to it. It's touched to Grant, who takes the shot on the ground, and Swift able to dive on top of it. Trying to start the counter, Silvio Pauly taken off the ball by Jordan Day. And it'll be a free kick for North Georgia. His advantage was lost. Ball back in play as Bennett sends it cross field to Jordan Day. Here's Ludwig Erickson. And a foul going to be called on the junior from Sweden. Akin trying to beat Balde. He does. And then sends it across the field toward Achimovic, who had the ball bounce over him by a touch. A couple of subs coming on for the Canes. Dylan Marshall steps on, as does Daniel Mendson. Erickson gets it to Achimovic. Now Joyce will send it back to Jordan Day, who gives to the goalkeeper, Matt Sharman, to organize the troops. Bennett all the way across. Ivan Achimovic. Ball sent in, cleared out. Now North Georgia will settle it and move it into the attacking third. Ball sent back to Farrell, who quickly touches it out to Michael Akin. Akin trying to cross it in. It's cleared well out of play. And Evan Davis will come over to throw it in. And the throw will be given to Georgia Southwestern as we take closer to 18 minutes remaining. Sayers bicycles it up the field to Marshall. And a foul called on North Georgia, free kick given. Numbers forward for the Canes. Ball headed wide left. It'll be a goal kick. That'll allow for Georgia Southwestern to make a substitution. Chris Avery comes off. Shane Madre checks on the junior from Jessup. And the flag was up on Achimovic. Achimovic. 
Alex Grant giving chase to the ball. Rugel defending. Here's Grant trying to get across the top of the 18. And Georgia Southwestern steps in and starts the counter. Trying to find Dylan Marshall up top. Marshall with four goals on the season. Second most for this Kane side. Akin trying to keep the ball in play. Be a North Georgia throw. Evan Davis comes up to take it. Now Michael Akin. Farrell one touch over to Erickson. Into the 18. Shot goes just over the crossbar. Davis heads it down. North Georgia trying to put together an attack. Marshall heads it over to Evan Davis, who resets the attack with Sharman. Achimovich. Across the field. Akin with nobody near him. He'll cross it over the frame, but it flies over the net. 14 minutes to play, Nighthawks 5, Canes 2. Erickson heads it down and now starts the possession. It comes all the way over to Evan Davis. Davis off of Sayers will get the throw. North Georgia has done a lot of possessing since the fifth goal of the match. Again, matching the season high set against Flagler back on September 30th right here in Dahlonega. That was a 5-3 win for the Nighthawks. North Georgia unbeaten when scoring three or more goals. In fact, they're 4-0 and oh when that happens. A 3-0 win against Emmanuel, a 3-2 win against Francis Marion, a 5-3 win over Flagler, and then a 3-0 shutout at USC Aiken. Free kick taken. Trying to find Akin and does. At the top of the 18, the shot will go over the crossbar and a goal kick. Georgia Southwestern sending Polly back onto the pitch, replacing Moak. Akin tried the back heel pass. It was intercepted by Dempsey and a foul called on North Georgia. Yeah. 
quickly put back in play by Balde. And subs will come onto the pitch. Omar Lewis comes on for the first time today for North Georgia. Six foot junior from Alpharetta. Elias comes back on for Georgia Southwestern. Davis trying to find Grant, or rather that was Alan Sar. Here's Balde for Georgia Southwestern. Trying to beat Evan Davis, and the ball will roll out of play for a throw. Akin trying to get the ball for the Nighthawks, but here's Silvio Pauly finding Elias. Now Pauly again. And Erickson will just send the ball as far down the field as he can with his left foot. Achimovic giving chase to Lucas Kimmel, forcing him to play quickly, and the flag goes up. Matt Sharman will come up to take the kick to send it back in play after the offside. Ball will bounce towards Swift. It's kicked away. Alensar tries to put it in the net, but it'll go over the frame entirely. And some talking between Southwestern and North Georgia players. Officials move in to nip that in the bud. As Akin pushed off the ball hard. Foul called on ball day. Bennett will take the free kick. And another foul called. Alensar draws it. Omar Lewis will give way to Jordan Day, who will take this free kick. Set piece coming for North Georgia. Numbers in. Kick goes toward Akin. Akin can't keep his footing. Georgia Southwestern chips the ball, and that will easily bounce into the net. As the goal is scored by Silvio Pauli. And subs will get to come on. And it's five to three. Justin Soto comes on for North Georgia. Seven oh five to play. It's five to three. 
Come beating this here in his big time record three. Makes three to five. And the ball sent out of play. Georgia Southwestern moving quickly. Here's the throw in down the sidelines, trying to find Moak as he stepped back onto the field. Botka throws it in. Nick Botka, the 5'10 senior from Fayetteville. Sayers crossing it in, and that was cleared out of play. It'll be a corner kick for Georgia Southwestern. They move quickly, getting it set up. We'll take a look at the goal real quick. Ball sent up field, and Polly chips it over the top for the goal. The assist will be given to Moat. Rather, it'll be Sayers who gets the assist. Throw in by Georgia Southwestern. They're trying to move quickly, trailing by two goals with just over five to play. Again, a cane throw. Sayers going to trigger it in. Sayers shot taken by Matt Sharman. Sharman lays the ball on the turf and boots it away. Erickson sends it up the side to Achimovic. And it's taken away by Rugel. Up the far sidelines, the Canes go. Charmin keeps it in play. Sends it downfield. Here's Lewis giving to Ludwig Erickson. Didn't get a great touch on it. And Sayers trying to move the ball upfield. Low cross. Stopped by North Georgia. Grant trying to keep possession, and he does. And the clock will stop for a North Georgia sub. Garcia will step on for Alan Sar. Here comes Polly for GSW. He sends out wide to Sayers. Sayers attacking. Ball will roll harmlessly across frame. Three minutes to play. North Georgia trying to hang on here. As Georgia Southwestern has made this interesting by scoring in the 84th. And Soto draws a booking to Nick Botka. So Botka will get booked, and Dan Bennett 
will get to take a free kick. Bennett sends it wide side. Ivan Achimovich. Here's Farrell. Farrell with space. He'll take a shot, and it goes wide right. Ludwig Erickson comes off. Francisco Aliciardi. Polly heads it down over the top, trying to find Sayers, and Bennett boots that one as hard as he can toward midfield. Now Grant to Achimovich. Out wide, Elise Yardi. And North Georgia will earn a throw. And a substitution for North Georgia with 106. And Alex Grant will step off. Coming on is... Zach Tibbs steps on, and the clock will stop. Tibbs, the 5'9 senior from Gainesville. Here comes North Georgia trying to put together an attack as time... Winding down, Soto sends it into the 18. And Swift will come back over. 20 seconds to play. North Georgia, if they can hold on, will improve to 7 and 6. Farrell just sends it downfield. Swift comes over, and he will boot it downfield. North Georgia, seconds away. And that is the match. Final score, North Georgia 5, Georgia Southwestern 3, a number of goals in the second half. North Georgia able to hang on. We'll take a break and return to wrap things up from Dahlonega right after this on the Nighthawk Sports Network. We're not just a video production company. We're storytellers, and we're on a mission to connect people, inspire change, and capture life's most precious moments. Because it's not only about capturing where you are today, it's about capturing where you're going. So when it's time to create a video, choose Bentley Media and let us tell your story the way it was meant to be told. Bentley Media, we only film everything. NCAA TV and marketing rights fees. Where does the money go? Long answer, 96% of the revenue is used to fund 88 championships and support 1,055 member colleges and universities who together provide $2 billion annually in financial aid to more than 400,000 student athletes so they can compete and learn. Short answer, we put our money where our mission is. I am a brother. I am a freshman. I am an artist. I am an entrepreneur. I am a civilian. I am a junior. I am an ambassador. I am a music teacher. I am a student. I am a commuter. I am an actor. I am an intern. I am a researcher. I am a senior. I am an athlete. I am a veteran. I am a sister. I am a sophomore. I am a singer. I am an educator. I am a scientist. I am a resident. I am a writer. I am a leader. I am a cadet. I am a volunteer. I am a musician. I am a tutor. We are UNG.
Final score, 5-3 to three between the Nighthawks and the Hurricanes. Adam Farrell with two goals to lead North Georgia. North Georgia's next game, October 28th at 2 p.m. right back here, or next home match right here in Dahlonega is against North Greenville on the 28th. They'll take on Clayton State on the road next Wednesday at 7.30 in Morrow. 5-3, your final score. Nighthawks defeat the Canes here in Dahlonega. Thanks for tuning in as the Nighthawks sweep the Hurricanes tonight. 10-0 in the women's match, 5-3 in the men's here on the Nighthawk Sports Network.